Hi everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on Instagram, you will know all about what has happened um, that I'm going to be discussing today in this video. But basically in today's video, I wanted to discuss Chanel quality because something crazy did happen to me and the heart bag that I just bought. Side note, um, things are a little bit crazy here. So the baby is in this room with me while I'm filming and he's being a little bit wiggly, being a little bit fussy. So if you hear him in the background, I apologize about that. There's just nothing I can do. He's still a baby. <laughs> but yeah, so this video is going to be kind of on a serious note. Um, I recently purchased this Chanel heart bag right here and something major already happened to it. So I want to discuss like what happened, um, how Chanel followed up with me on that, and then also um, I just want to talk about like luxury quality in general. I actually asked you guys on Instagram to share your opinions on Chanel quality as well, so I will be discussing all of that in today's video. So let us start with just the story of what happened. So a couple of days ago I wore this Chanel heart bag out for the first time ever. We just took the baby to the mall and then I think we also went out to lunch. I I filled this bag with the normal amount of items that you know will fit in it um, if you haven't seen my what fits and my first impressions on this um, I will link that video down below as well so you can kind of get an idea of what I actually put in here um, but then I got back into the car towards the end of the day and I pulled the bag up by the strap and this happened um the strap actually came all the way off i will try to show you on camera but i will also insert photos um so that you can see a little bit better but as you can see that hole right here is where the strap had attached and the way that this strap is attached again you will see more clearly um, by the photos is that there is a little screw that actually screws into this little hole right here which keeps the strap in place through that hole in the leather and yeah that had come loose and um, the screw luckily just dropped within the bag so I have that other part that screws into here luckily I did not lose it but it's so scary to me to think that you know what if my bag had been opened or what if I had pulled on it too hard and the screw came loose and flew out of the bag I don't know it's just um it was just so shocking and wild to me and my mom was there at the time too so she was completely like shocked and yeah I just literally cannot believe that that happened to me like literally the first day that I decided to use this bag so what did I do? Um, I immediately, well, I posted on Instagram so that you guys can see, but then I immediately tested my essay that I bought this from. Now she um, works at the Neiman Marcus in um, Vegas. So she told me, uh, first of all, she apologized and she was also shocked as well. Like this sort of thing should not happen. And then she told me to actually just go into the Neiman Marcus here and see what they can do. Um, she told me that there were probably two options that they can do. The first option would be like if the damage was minor, they could um, send it to repair, I think here, or they could repair it in the store. I'm not sure she wasn't actually really clear but she said that that wouldn't take very long or the second option is that they could send it back to repair at Chanel which could take several weeks but because of COVID a lot of things have been taking several months so that was really discouraging to hear um, but yeah there were two options depending on how crazy the damage is I'm not able to just return it and get a new one since these are limited edition bags or whatever she said I could return it however I wouldn't be able to repurchase another one of these bags because there's just no more in stock. That was a little bit disappointing um because I would in theory really like to get a new one but of course um if they can repair it that's awesome as well but I'm just really sad that you know I paid I think $5,500 before tax, $6,000 after tax for this bag and it just broke immediately once I used it. And you guys know that like I have a lot of luxury bags, especially from Chanel. I have bags from all of like different brands and nothing like this has ever happened to me before ever. Now I asked you guys on Instagram what you guys thought and if you had any experience with this kind of thing at Chanel or any other luxury band. Actually a couple of people messaged me. One person said that she had this exact same bag and the same thing happened to her and she was just able to you know um screw it back in no problem which is honestly probably what I'll do because it isn't a crazy huge deal in terms of repair although I am still upset that this happened to me 
you know, to begin with, but if I don't have to wait for Chanel to repair it, um, I'll just, you know, do it myself. And then I also got messages from just, you know, other people who have said that they have had problems with their Chanel bags recently in general, either with the leather or the hardware. Um, someone said, like, one of the pieces of hardware actually just came off their bag and then another person was saying that they bought their bag brand new in store and there was already problems with the leather so yeah this kind of thing has been happening I guess um like I said I haven't had any problems with Chanel recently but um other than you know this one obviously um but I have heard rumors and now I have confirmed you know other people who have messaged me that they have been having problems as well I've also just gotten a ton of general messages saying that people have noticed that the quality has declined in Chanel, which like I said, I haven't really super noticed myself, but um, a lot of people have been messaging me and commenting on my photos saying that they have noticed the same thing. And that is just really sad because, you know, the Chanel prices have gotten really crazy. I mean, they increase like four or five times a year now. And if their quality isn't the same as it was, that's just really, you know, upsetting to me. Someone also pointed out that the reason why Chanel can get away with this is because we are still buying these bags despite all the quality issues. So they know that, you know, even if their quality isn't up to par, they can still get away with these things things because they still have a customer basis. It's just um, something crazy that I wanted to talk to you guys about and you know now that I've had my first experience with the Chanel quality um, I just really needed to let you guys know. I also wanted to ask you guys you know if you have any stories or if you've had any experience with this in general let me know what happened or if you have brought in your bag to repair at Chanel let me know what happened as well. I just have heard that it can take a long time so I just don't even though they have given me that option I just it's so easy to just screw it back in myself even though it's annoying that I have to do that um it is a really easy fix from home so I would love to know if you did have your bag repaired by Chanel let me know what has happened um I also did want to mention that I did talk to my essay this is unrelated I did go into Chanel Neiman Marcus a um couple of weeks ago and we were talking about how you know some of the bags in the store are actually damaged and that's why they haven't been sold um they said that some of the bags just arrive that way and they just never get sold because of that and they were joking with me that there is like a Chanel graveyard in the back of the store where there's just bags there that um they haven't been able to sell because they arrived damaged so they just put it in the graveyard and wait for instructions from chanel on what to do with this bag so i just thought that was mind-blowing that you know so many bags arrive damaged that they have just a bunch in the back um i don't know that's just shocking to me like these bags cost so much money like the chanel jumbo right now is almost ten thousand dollars yet you know if it arrives damaged like what <laughs> it's just um super weird and sad to me. So after this, I've also had people mention that they're hesitant to buy this bag, especially secondhand now, because, um, you know, the secondhand prices are pretty crazy. I've seen them on Fashion File go for eight, nine thousand dollars depending on the size. And yeah, I agree. Like if something like this is going to happen, I definitely would hesitate to spend a premium price unless you, you know, really want this bag if that kind of thing bothers you, which it should. However, I am keeping in mind that it is such a simple fix. If it does happen, just take a little screwdriver and screw the strap back in. Um, but yeah, it's just something that is really disappointing that we have to worry about even um, especially because the bag is just it just costs so much to begin with I'm not sure if I mentioned it in this video But for those of you who didn't watch my unboxing or my first impressions I did buy this one brand new in store from Neiman Marcus. So yeah, this one isn't secondhand or anything So yeah, it did arrive from the store like this um, Which like I've been saying in this video is pretty disappointing. So yeah, that is my story about this um, I haven't fixed it yet, but after this video, I will go ahead and screw it back in um, But yeah, let me know what your thoughts on this event are um, let me know if you have any experiences on you know quality issues or whatever with Chanel and if you did contact them let me know what they did to help you or if they fixed it I would love to know in the comment section down below in case this ever does happen again although this does make me you know not want to buy brand new from Chanel anymore or um, I'm gonna hesitate to buy really expensive bags from them maybe I'll just stick to SLGs or something but um, yeah I would love to know your experiences below as well sorry again about all the noises in the background um, becoming a mother has just changed my life completely so um, there's really nothing I can do about that but yeah thank you so much for watching again leave a comment down below letting me know what you think and I will see you next time bye